What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host. I'm just going to be your host. That's all I got right now. And we're doing another M19 draft here on Magic the Internet Arena slash Gathering Client Net. And what does this dude do? Photon Archer? It's actually Poison Tip Archer, but it looked like Photon at a glance, so I just called him that because that's a funny name. Reach and Death Touch. Remember another who drives you? Eh, that's fine, but I'd rather just take this Hyromancer's Cage. Search on a card, put it on the battlefield, and shuffle. So this just searches for other copies of itself. Eh. Uh, Rabbit Bite's also good. I think Hyromancer's Cage is probably the best card in this pack, right? I don't want to be blue black just for this guy, or blue green black just for this guy, though. Two, three for four with. Eh. Let's go to Rabbit Bite. But I'm also just. This card is just. It's just core set cast out, right? Which doesn't cycle and doesn't have the, the Ixalan's Binding Clause. It's just like... You guys like Archer over Mono White card? You like Green Black 2-3 over Mono White card? Oh, Knightly Valor. I like Knightly Valor a lot. Plus 2, plus 2, and Vigilance, and make a 2-2 two -two with Vigilance. So much Vigilance. Vig for days. I also like Vine Mare, but I think the Knightly Valor is probably better. Especially because we already have a good White card here. Yeah, rare squadron hawk that costs six mana to activate seems pretty bad. I'm gonna have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> and if we pick up another vine mare, I'm more than I'm more than willing to put a knightly valor on that dude. Saying we could have been archer plus mare when we are high rents or tight cage plus knightly valor is pretty funny to me. So just like seven damage at sorcery speed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. That was, a, that was a bad Miranda impression. Uh, Let's just cross also pretty good. Probably better than Sky Scanner, right? I mean, this is colorless and it goes in the blue, 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 green, blue white artifact deck. This is just destroy a dude. Is black white an archetype, though? I guess there's lots of lifelink and vampires that care about that. This card is definitely stronger. This card might be more synergistic. And it's just cantrip, dude. So I'll take the removal spell because I want to sell myself on uh, on on taking the one one when this is really the better card. So oh, uh, Forsaken Sanctuary is pretty cool. Actually, Rogue's Glove is is real. It was surprisingly good last time. Skeletal Archer also very very good. I think Archer is just. Real solid. I think I just want to take Skeletal Arch all the time. Oh yeah, Palaka Worm being a rare is not cool. Shield Mare 2-3? Can't block me red. When it enters the battlefield, it becomes a target spell. Oh, this actually seems great. This is just a 2-3 three for 3 that like has relevant abilities. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. Also, the life gain is relevant in this archetype, I believe. I don't like this card. I want to take the Invoke because it seems very relevant in this format. Um, this is like a 2-2 two -two sometimes. Gaining one life is cool, but... This actually seems perfect, right? Like, we have this guy, we have this guy, and it's one mana. This could actually be the perfect deck for Nightmare's Thirst. Yeah, we're taking that. For sure. Wait, I thought it was over? No, I'd never... No. No. I when you, when you hear me ending, it's usually I'm ending the YouTube video. I'm not ending the stream. And if I am ending the stream, let me finish. Then don't leave yet. Don't leave in the middle of my ending, man. That's just rude. You just admitted to being rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know?
I like that thirst is actually not good for people who aren't in life gain. Yeah, that's that's I like that now because you're like, oh, you want to be you want to take this. Whenever a creature in his battlefield under control gain a life. Eh. Is that any good? <laughs> it's probably terrible, right? There's all these life matters cards, but there's like there's no like Felidar or Sovereign in the in the set. I almost want just the second invoke because I don't think Knight's Pledge is plus two plus two. Uh, blah. This this is a mighty leap. I'd take it and I'd have a good time with it. I'm just gonna take the second invoke. Um, uh, my uh, mine rot seems fine. I don't foresee us being an inspired charge deck, but I'll probably play a mind rot. Wow, all these cards are pretty bad. Uh, if we want to splash a green card, we got the option now. All right, I'll take this guy. All right, these packs have dried up pretty much. Can splash these these thornhide wolves. Thornhide wolves are on the loose. Thornhide wolves. Thornhide, 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 thornhide wolves. Thornhide, 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 Thornhide Wolves. Huh. Huh. <laughs> what? Oh, oh boy. That's a thing, isn't it? That is a thing. Huh. We do have a green white land. We can also probably pick up some manaliths. I mean, this is a flying vigil trampler for 6-6. Six, six. Like, that's huge. I'm just taking that thing. It's only got one green and one red in the in the casting cost, right? What problem is? Oh, Sun Cleanser seems pretty good. So does Blood Divination. Oh, plenty more is worth nothing. <laughs> it's literally like a nickel. Nice nice battlefield removal of counters from target creature. You can't have counters. Don't care about that. Target removal of counters. Yeah, I don't care about either of those. It's just blood divination, right? Like, this format's not super fast, so. Cruise control, yeah, I don't care about that very much. I do like you. I think it's just strangling spores here. Oh, or skeletal archer. Archer's so good, dude. What do you have for removal? Lich's Caress and Hyromancer's Cage. Point two of a ticks would, would look like twenty cents. It would look like two dimes. Yeah, I'll take the spores. It's solid removal. What does this guy do? Miner's Battlefield Target Punch is going to run just going to play with two life. It's a one three for four. God, I could just not care about that any less. Like, ugh, gross. That's terrible. Put your dog in a suit. <laughs> I don't even know why where that came from. Whenever point, whenever you gain life, each opponent loses life. This I guess is pretty good, but I think I have to try to have murderer's axe because it makes our mediocre creatures really good. All right, we'll take that guy because oh wow, another nightmare's thirst. That's gas. Oh, that's gasoline. That's an easy oh crucible worlds. That's cool. God, man, before M19, you would never see this card come this late because it's like 20 tickets, I imagine.
Yep, we're just taking the Manolith because of Palladium Orders. Oh, another Epicure of Blood. That's pretty good. Also this Skeleton Archer and the Gallant Cavalry. Both of those are good. I like Archer more too, but I also think this is a better synergy, especially with cards like Nightmare Thirst. Nightmare's Thirst. I think it's a big here. I think it's just a better card for our deck. Also, we can ramp to it with this double Manolith here. Oh, triple Manolith? Okay. Oh, we have already two invokes. I'm going to take this Duress. Oh, this is actually a perfect table, especially with the double Epicure of Blood. Eh, we'll just take this guy in case we end up playing random 3-2. I'm going to take this. Macabalt seems great, especially if our Palladium Mors dies. Double Manolith. And uh, Tranquil Expanse is exactly what we want for this deck, ironically. Sure. Oh, well, Johnny's welcome. We have six creatures in our deck. I don't foresee either of those making the cut. Yeah, I do imagine Crucible will go up again, especially because it's a mythic in this set. Oh. Well then. Child of Night's probably perfect. Declare Dominance Bolster plus three all creatures. Oh, sure. So it's just a lure. Bloodletter is good. I think I like Child of Night better just because we only have so many two drops right now. Not an ideal open. What? <laughs> this card is gas. Oh, that's fantastic. And also double Manolith lets us ramp right into it. Star Starcrown Stag is fantastic, but Open the Graves is probably better. And by probably, I mean it's definitely better. Also, if any of these four come back, I'll be happy. I'll even take a Hired Blade at this point just to have more guys. Open the Graves is great. Wow. Open the Graves was fantastic about uh, fantastic against us the other day, so. What does this burglar do? <laughs> Look at the top four cards. Reveal a creature from the power of two or less from among them. Put it in your hand. Oh, God. That's terrible. That's never happening. As a 2-3, with no other abilities, it's probably still going to be great. Went to grab food and came back. Are we going to double splash? Yeah, we have double manolith and a tranquil expanse in the sideboard. We are 1,000% splashing Palladium Wars. I think this is... This Volcanic Dragon is also pretty good.
with power two or less. How many is that? One, two, three. Three creatures. It does have vigilance. Eh, it's it's a dude. It's a dude is really the important part. Like that's the only thing I really care about. Take vengeance is actually pretty good here. That is a nice removal spell to pick up this late. Don't care about a second of Johnny's welcome. This card's great. So is explosive apparatus just because it's two damage. But I think we have a good amount of removal now, especially with the double nightmares thirst, the lich's caress, the take vengeance. Uh, Mind Rot can probably cut this cage. This is like an irrelevant creature, but it's a 1-4 for 2, which is probably just fine. Also, Neonate seems pretty good. Like, it just blocks everything, and the ability is pretty relevant when we have Epicure of Blood, right? It also triggers. With the, it also helps the uh, the the bugler, the burglar. Like this is a one four. This is an O three. I'd rather just have the the O three. Oh wow, that's a late meteor golem. I'll play that guy. This is also a late runic armasaur. Like any green deck, two five for three. That just whenever you activate an ability, we draw a card. Sure, I'll take another archer too. All right, now we need one cut. Uh, I don't foresee us playing any of these things. I'll just take the instant, I guess. It's pretty miserable. Why? Well, this is like... Target creature is plus one, plus seven, which is super weird. But it doesn't, like, untap them. It also doesn't make them block another guy, which would be... Which would make sense because it's plus one, plus seven. So, I don't know. That's a really weird card. Also, we definitely picked up a good number of cards. A good number of uh, creatures, rather. <sighs> Just take Valuable Wolf. Just take Tiny Bird, I guess. I don't need a... Uh, I already have an Johnny's Welcome. I don't think I need a second one. I'll take Sure Shrike. This deck looks pretty sweet. How's this for the big Phantom mode? All right, let's take a look. <laughs> I'll probably make one with my specific face. Like, with making a specific face for it. I like that you did pick just a random me face, though. That's pretty... I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, I do have to make one cut. What do we cut, guys? Our removal is on point. I would also probably overlap the the hand onto my face just a little bit so it doesn't look like it's disconnected. This is all very good removal. This deck looks this deck looks insane. This is our double manolith deck. So do we actually add one forest and one one mountain? I don't think so. Maybe one mountain, just so we have a land. Uh, I don't like cutting Neonate, because its synergies are both really good with Epicure of Blood and the uh, Militia Burglar. Bugler, not Burglar. I keep saying Burglar because Bugler is a weird word that... No one actually says. Deck looks insane. One, two, Lee result. Fantastic. Uh, I actually don't like Take Vengeance that much. I can see cutting that. That's actually pretty mediocre. Whereas, like, Macabalt is actually pretty good at just getting two dudes back. And getting Palidia Moors back with uh, Macabalt is pretty powerful. I'm also going to add one of these. None of these. 
So this is seven, nine, and then one. Which seems pretty good. Plus we have double Manolith. Actually, I like eight, eight better. Because we do have a double white here and we have two double black here, but those are the only ones. So seven, eight, eight, and then one and one. Yeah, this seems fantastic. This deck seems awesome. So how many things do we have to hit with the the, the burglar now? The burglar? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Um just five which is not great but it's also not terrible so nobody really bugles anymore that's true usually you just put them on your fingers these days when bugles on your fingers you can eat bugles anytime well this hand is not keepable play the amores in the next hand there it is. All right. And also not keepable. We'll mulligan, but Plady Mores is going to stay. It did not, but I will keep this hand. Uh, put it on the bottom. Neros, good luck for having your food, buddy. Good luck having your food. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Hey, good luck having your food. If we can hit lands, I like this curve. How about a two or three drop into two lands? That's all I really want. Well, that's actually pretty okay. We can activate it next turn, or it does a, does a thing. Pizza bagels or pizza rolls? Pizza bagels, 100%. I'm a bigger Bagel Bite fan than a Totino's pizza roll fan, so. Oh, they didn't really do anything there. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is going to work out quite well. Also, Blood Divination with Open the Graves? Oof, that is exciting. Well, we got to deal with that. Whenever it attacks, each creature controlled by four so it's attacks a 5-4 attacker. Welp, that's a thing. I guess we'll play this dude. Trade Cavalry for Knight, or for, for Goreclaw, but presuming they don't have any sort of removal spell, which they likely will not have, I meant. Wow, playing that guy for three is pretty grotesque. And cool. Can I just draw a removal spell that kills this thing? I'm just gonna take six here and feel terrible about my life choices. That's not what we wanted to see, but I guess it does something next turn. Oh god, we are in bad shape right here. This is a, an aggressive deck. We, I mean, we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, we take eleven, but we go to, we get to gain one, so that's pretty cool. Why are you still playing more things? I don't understand. Sure. I mean, I wasn't gonna block anyway, buddy. Actually, I might just jump block something, maybe with the knight. Boy, this is just rough. Did you get a five here? Ugh, gross. I actually don't like chumping with the knight. I'd rather just chump this next turn with this. I think we can just take it this turn. It's not great, but... This is brutal. Yeah, I think we're bringing in Take Vengeance. Take Vengeance, is that what the card's called? I don't actually know. Watch, we're going to draw Palladium Wars here. Ready? That's kind of like a Palladium Wars, except now we can cast the Palladium Wars. That's interesting. So could we just play this guy and then double block here? Hmm. 
Oh boy, this is not great just because we have no way to kill. Like, these are both five and we have four on board. Ugh. Just vomit. Oh, did they get trampled? Oh, they all get trampled? Yeah, alright, that's game then. Wow, this one card literally killed us. Pretty amazing. Take vengeance, that's what it was. What I call it? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Either way. Yeah, this hand seems good. We're halfway to Palladium Wars. I mean, I don't think it is a fast format. They played four drop, five drop. <laughs> like, that's not really how a normal game of Magic is going to go. So, I mean, we just had a super slow hand. So... Well, we were hoping for a white mana there, but, you know, what can you do? All right, so that's double black, which is nice. Yeah, we did also mold a five, so... Can we, like, not do anything here? Because that's kind of sad. I don't actually think we care about the Take Vengeance here. I'd rather just save it. Any land and we get some good stuff to, to do next turn. Funny enough, Nightly Valor on the Vampire Neonate is pretty good because it's a, it comes a 2-5 with Vigilance so we can attack and activate its ability. So this is just basically like we both gain one each turn. I'd be a little more reluctant to block if they had... Uh, Christ. I was going to say if they had double black because then they can play the Hound, but no, of course they just have Skeletal Archer anyway, so... <laughs> oh, magic. Good times, good times. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, if we draw a land, we can play Palladium Wars, which is pretty cool. Oh, look, it's a big dumb vampire idiot. Give me one land. Any land whatsoever. Any land. That'll do. Beautiful. Hey, he's just gorgeous. So we can just play this guy as a big 6 6 blocking idiot, right? And hope they just don't have titanic growth. Oh, how nice. Seriously? So you have Titanic Growth. I'm not going to take seven here. Wait, what? Oh, it dealt damage. Oh, wow. That's kind of funny, actually. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay. This is an interesting card. I think it's got to be one of the weaker ones, right? Because, like, it just has Hexproof for, like, such a limited amount of time. And then it's just a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, Flying Vigilance and Trample are no joke, but, I mean... Sure. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Play this for 5.
Let's play a land. We'll go Knightly Valor on here. And then we can just attack for five with Vigilance. Because next turn we can actually go Epicure of Blood and then Shield Mare if we draw land, so... Yeah, this dude is super fragile. I mean, it's still worth splashing. It's still a 6-6 dragon that has to be dealt with. Really? Sure, I'll just take it. Yeah, if it's said until it deals damage to a player, then it's like, well, you can't actually be killing your opponent with it. Uh, while it has hexproof, right? So, like, that seems weirder. Let's do that. And if they have Titanic Growth, which they obviously do, because they never don't have it. <sighs> sure. <laughs> this is so bad, man. Is this card any good? Is this worth playing? Should we just play this card in our deck? Our deck's seeming great, but I don't think it's actually that good anymore. I don't know why. Or their deck is just very good. What does this do? Oh, for crying out loud. Well, not terrible, but not great either, so. I will be blocking the Hungering Hydra, that's for sure. Um... I really don't want to block with this guy. If we block with this, we lose its ability. But we get two zombies on board, so any creature that we draw is enough to trade with this guy if we block it. So, they have four cards, we have none. That's pretty pretty funny. Oof. That's interesting. Do we just wait here? We can either just get back Palladium Wars and play it. I think we just wait. I don't think we're in any risk of dying here. If they if they want to attack with Hungering Hydra, we can just block it. If they want to attack with Giant Spider, we can double block it. We can also take four from the Wolves. Yeah, green seems very strong. Two of our three, two of our three decks were green, and uh, they it seems it seems like a very strong color so far. Or three out of four, maybe. Cool. Well, that Hydra's a real pain in the ass now. So, yeah. Now we're just going to... Macaw Bolts, get back. Palladium Morris and something else. Try not to die, I guess. Palladium Morris and maybe Shield Mare just for the life. Could just be Archer too. Archer's pretty strong. And we just have to hope we're not dead, I think. I think we do want the life here. I don't think Neonate's fast enough, so I think it's just Shield Mayor. I 
I mean, if they have a way to get rid of the zombie, we're dead. Like, let's just put it simply. And they did not. Okay. All right, so let's start clock. Start the clock, I guess. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. Unless you have a rabbit bite as well. I kind of like drawing three here, especially at the cost of a shield mare. Which is literally just uh, getting a zombie back. Ain't no zombie back, girl. We have not seen any of our thirsts, which is interesting. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, that's incredible. Two lands and a manolith. Seems good. That guy does not do it. But they do have a block with giant spider, but... Yeah, I'm not going to trade a zombie for that guy. I will just take... Uh, assume you don't have a way to deal four or else you would have... Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that is a sorcery. But it's the difference between two turns and one turn. So we're actually going to kill this guy now. Go back up to nine. Wow. All right. Game on. So what do we see? Rabid Bite? Um... God, the creatures are real big, but we have a bunch of good removal spells, so I don't know what the problem is. Nightmare's Thirst is great. Take Vengeance is good. Uh, Cage is great. Spores is great. Caress is great. Meteor Golem is great. Our deck seems very good. We even have things to do with like our excess lands, like Macabalts. Or just cast the expensive guys. I wonder if Mind Rod is actually good here. I kind of like Abnormal Endurance, honestly. That actually seems pretty good. As you can see, Palladium Orders actually did some work. <sighs> what do we take out for that, though? Like, all the other cards are like... I'm going to take out one Manolith, because we only need one if we have Mountain or Tranquil Expanse. Is that bad? I don't know. No, we only have one card we're splashing. It's fine. I actually think Neonate's good, though. If we can draw another white, uh, we can go Shield Mare on turn four. Four turn turn four and then nightmares thirst for negative four negative four, and kill something pretty relevant. They went to five. I'm okay with that. No offense, of course. Also, night shield mare into valor is pretty good too. Oh, uh, that's also a very good card next turn. Yeah, I think we're actually doing very, very well here. Oh, that's great. All right, cool. Yeah, so if we draw white, we can actually go Shield Mare into Nightmare Thirst and kill this guy. We did not. Still think it's pretty okay to just play Cavalry here. We don't have that much reliable life gain, really? And we have two cards that gain us life in our hand right now. Like we also have the one three life linker. We have um Yeah, that's fine.
Interesting. What are we doing here? This is an instant, actually. So we can block here and then... Oh, wow. That's actually great. Let's do that. I will actually trade with either. So if you want to block, that's super cool. I think we have a ton of life gain in our deck. I don't think you attack with Oracle here. That seems bad, but... Yeah, we're just going to take three because we have Child of Night, so. Oh, Child of Night. Late December back in 63. Chris Rue, happy birthday, buddy. Congrats on being old. I kind of like Nightly Valor on here, but it's real scary, so. We're just going to Alpha. And Nightmares Thirst, this dude. I see. Why wouldn't you kill the, the Child of Night? Oh, 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 sweet Child of Night. Ooh, yeah. That seemed good. I also kind of just want to draw cards here because we have... Actually, we have things to do. We're fine. Our hand is pretty stacked right now. Is this is a thing we do? Is this greedy? It feels greedy. We can just play Shield Mare here. I mean, Thirst is a horrible top deck against big dudes, but there's a lot of cards that are horrible top decks against big dudes. I think we definitely have a deck that can engineer... Okay, sure. So if we actually went Nightly Valor, we would have... Oh, wow, we gained like six life there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was nice. Infinite life, life gain. I think this game is over. I still don't have a reason to Nightly Valor yet. It wouldn't win us the game this turn. It wouldn't increase our clock. It would actually just put us at risk to losing another guy, so. Our hand is pretty unbelievably good. All right, well, they're dead on board. Just for the YOLOs. Oh, they said good game. Let's say good games. All right. Maybe our deck is good, because their deck seemed great. So, I don't know. I'm going to add the Take Vengeance as the main deck and just play 41, I think is, which I think is fine. Oh... <laughs> uh. Good games, good games. Oh, they had a fair. That was a. I mean, it was a pretty rough multi five. We can just we can go. To, this is a forty one deck if I ever saw one, just because we have double manolith and seventeen lands. So, I missed cube the second it was gone. So Friday afternoon. Um, still trying to make the best of twenty nineteen though. So. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if you have two manolith and seventeen lands if you only hit one of the lands though. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. Snap it off. I'm gonna put you on the bottom. Tranquil expanse. No, okay. Just checking. Just wanted to. Just wanted to to will it into being. Okay, double island. Your move. If we draw that mountain, we're in great shape. We can go manolith into. Epicure into Palladium Ores. Mm. 
Well, isn't that cute? Actually, we should have killed this in response. I wasn't even thinking about that. Two of these guys is great, especially if they're in land, we can Nightmare's Thirst. I'll be honest, so far I've enjoyed uh, M19 more than more than I expected I would. However, I think the the curve uh, is higher, if that makes sense. Like the um, like I feel like I will end up disliking it faster than I dislike than I started to dislike Dominaria. So we'll see. But so what we can do is go Lich's. We can just Lich's caress this guy, or we can actually just attack. If they double block, we get to kill two, which I don't think is happening. Yeah, I think we just attack play another one. Epicure of blood. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at that little guy. You got it. Doesn't do much here. God, a six land would be great, because like then we can cast this and this. Oh, we just get to eat these dudes? Well, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of life triggers. Three, four. If we take six here, go to ten. That seems fine. Oh my god, aviation pioneers for days. Well then. Yep. Chump City, all right. So, kill this guy. Eh, we can just kill this for now. So now they have three power on board and we have eight 244s. So that seems pretty good. All of this is fine. 05, 1, 2. Can be blocked by green creatures. I don't have any of those. All these. God, it are, oh my god. Can I tell you how good a, a one of the black horses would be? Well, that's pretty good. I think we probably should have attacked there too. Yep, and that's a good reason why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just literally dead here thanks to sleep, which is a pretty uninteractive magic card. That's cool. Literally nothing you can do aside from not being at eight health. Sweet. Invoke, invoke. <laughs> Uh, take out a take. Take out a neonate, I guess. That guy's not great here. And yeah, take out open the graves. I don't see that making a huge impact here. Probably bring in duress too, and just go to forty-two because I'm a maniac. 
He's a maniac, maniac. Oh, no. I'll keep this hand. This is me assuming we'll draw a second planes. How do you consider not being an 8-life? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about it, but, you know, I like to live dangerously. White mana into. Come on, planes. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Don't essence scatter me. I will. I will skeleton archer this thing down. Before you even blink. All right, now we now we got the initiative here, which is nice. We did it together. We did it. Oh, look at that guy. Isn't that cute? You can't attack. Don't do it. B aggressive. B E aggressive. We're going to risk them playing the 3-2 and drawing a card just because I'd rather have a 4-4 out. I assume they're going to play 3-2 draw a card guy. What would you do for a point back? Oh, just another bunch of one toughness dudes. Comical. Alright, lands. I get it. Yeah, we're just gonna tap all our guys every turn. So if they wanna like sleep us, I don't even care. Oh yeah, do that. Oh yeah, do that. That's a three for one. And you take five. Sure, kill them all. Skilled animator. When it enters the battlefield, target artifact controls the artifact. The best artifact belongs to the battlefield. Sure, they got a five-five flyer. Solid. Solid gone. <laughs> Keep this last land in hand in case we have to... Uh This is a fantastic deck. Well, that's interesting. So if we get rid of this, we we only have a 1-3 to deal with. If we get rid of this, we have a 1-1 one, one to deal with. And also, it's one, one step closer to getting rid of this guy as well. But this does take a flyer off the board. So. And this never comes back as well. So I think we actually get rid of the Thopter. I don't really care about the 5-5. Five five. We'll just double block it and get back whatever they... Of course, if they didn't play this guy, we would actually have great attacks this turn, but... So be it. Good lord. Never... 
Never running out of things here, it seems. Invoke one time off the top. That would be fantastic. Swamp is also pretty good. That's another card I was excited to draw. Invoke would be nice. We can kill this. We can force them into making some trades with our guys. Then we can macabre balls back. But instead, we're probably just going to get beat down by these two one ones until the end of time. What does 341 mean? What are you saying, Sarcastatron? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Um, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Their deck's actually pretty insane. I'm a big fan of it. Okay, okay. I like this. Oh, this is great, actually. Okay. Oh, wow. Getting aggressive here. Everybody's going to the front. I'll get rid of a 2-1. Sure. Let's get the two creatures that we have back. Discard a land. Shield Mare. You go to six. Hmm. Three, four, one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha you. No blocks. Take five. No cards in hand. Seems good. Palladium more is your one step closer. Does it matter which one you kill? Probably this in case you can bounce it. I don't think attacking actually gets us anywhere, right? They block 3-3 three, three here. 2-3 two, can be blocked by 1-3. Yeah, that's not a very profitable attack. Where's Neonate when you need it? Where my Neonate's at? Do, 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 do. We did shrink the clock some. Palladium War is online. All we have to do is draw it now. So now, if we attack, they can go block Ophone, uh, block here, and then take three. And then they get to crack back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that doesn't seem great for us. So we're just going to hold off and hope they don't draw sleep, I guess. Actually not terrible. They block here, I might be tempted to just kill this guy. Yeah. Cause that's a lot of damage if they do have sleep, so we'll see. Thank you. Steven C, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, actually, this is a blowout. Oh, no, it's not. They only have... Dang it. Yeah, this is fine. All right, well, we could have also shrunk this so that our skeleton survives, but they get to keep their thing. So they would have had Surge Mare instead of Aviation Pioneer, and we would have had a skeleton still alive. Um, if they do draw sleep, this guy being a 4-1 that loots for them is surprisingly good. 
So I just kind of want to... Oh, my God, dude. This is four Aviation Pioneers? This is ridiculous. I need to draft this deck next, because this stupid artifact deck seems pretty obnoxious. Uh, they can pump Mare, but Mare gets plus two, negative two, not plus two, plus two. So I, if they pump Mare, they just, we just don't gain the life, and they just kill their own Mare. So I don't think that's really the answer that they're looking for. <laughs> uh, if we kill Copter for Skeleton to survive, then, I mean, yeah, but then they get to keep one of their other guys. So uh, I don't know. I like getting the Mare off the board. One, two, three. This is actually fine. If if they want to block with all four and uh, assume we have nothing, that's fine. Like, we're in a position where we just have to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12. We've drawn 12 lands to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards. Yeah, that's pretty rough. 12 to 8 is not ideal, especially when you're. Can I get the gain three life kill a creature card? That would be great. Ironically, that still kills us because they just kill one of these guys and then they still deal us four. So that's pretty comical. <sighs> Otherwise, Archer would have been great. Yep. All right. Unfortunate. That would have actually done it. We went to five, killed a guy. And then... Yeah, this card was really a problem. All right. Well, still think our deck is good. We have just drawn an abundance of lands. Situations like this make me just want to play 16 lands because, like... Sure, statistically it's rough, but, like... You're probably just going to draw them anyway, because let's be real. Uh, I will keep this hand, especially with Nightmare's Thirst and Daybreak Chaplain. They are thinking some thoughts here. Oh, hi. I have watched some of your draft feeds. Thanks for that. Thankles for that. I feel like Miniscrew is better than Flood anyways because you eventually get to land. Yeah, you have things to cast, right? Whereas if you if you get uh, flooded, you just have nothing. It's actually a reasonable draw with the Manolith here. <sighs> Actually, I think we can just kill this, right? So we attack, if they block, we get to Nightmare Thirst, and then trade. Not trade, but kill it. Yeah, this card seems broken. I don't really want this guy on board. Not like it isn't worth a Nightmare Thirst, so. Oh, this is even better, actually. Because now we get to deal the damage to them, and still kill it. Cool beans. My dog is snoring and twitching it like crazy. Nice. Nice. He's having them dreams. Hmm. 
Yep, that is a dude I do not care about. I will attack you. You're just going to throw this guy away? You're not going to do anything with that guy. All right. Gallant Cavalry is basically just called arms, right? Four swamps. I'm intrigued. I are intrigued. I'm just going to get rid of this guy and attack for five because we have a lot of pressure right now. I'll discard the planes. I'll take two. One, three, not that scary. Mountain, also not that scary. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be great. I have a good feeling right now, guys. I've got a feeling. Oh, that's what I want you to do. That's the, that's the ticket. Skeletal Archer is such a blowout in this format. It makes blocking so hard because a lot of times you're just blocking with one one point difference. <clears throat> sure. 7-3 Trampy. You got it. Trample City... USA. Wow, nine nine three trample. All right. Well, my guys were dying anyway, so. Pretty sure we tackled everything. If you block here, this guy dies. Which is a fine trade. If you block here, it goes away anyway. If blocked, it's yeah, sure. Any one of these is a fine trade for me. And neonate can probably finish the job, so we're likely just casting the neonate. Why not trade with this guy? That's interesting. CJ, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. See you later. Bye. And we only have one creature in the graveyard, so we can't actually cast Macabre Waltz. Because we'd only get back one. And then we would have to discard it. Which, as you can imagine, is no bueno. Neonate's pretty oppressive when they're at four. That's literally like, hey man, deal with this uh, unimpressive O3. Or die. <laughs> or die. <laughs> I think we're just, I think our deck is good. We'll take, we'll bring an invoke because we did see the, the hatchet. Can take out... I'm going to take out a land. Watch this. Watch this maniac. 41 cards, 16 lands. Was there a Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference? Who made the Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference?
in before mana screw. Actually, I find when I only play 16 lands, I draw more lands. Not more lands, but I draw like the perfect amount of lands rather than... Uh, sometimes when you draw it, when you have 17 lands in your deck, you just don't draw it. Like you'll get mana screwed more frequently. I feel like I when I when I randomly like this like a hand like this is just perfect. I'll keep it. Here we go. Yeah, see, this is weird. Board out of land, draw six lands, three spells. Oh, would they miss the land drop, though? Oh, that's good for us. I'm okay with all the things. All right, well, I guess we have time, at least. I would love creatures, though. That's cool. I like, I like creatures. Oh, two land drops, eh? Good timing. Well, with only red man on board, this guy's probably sticking. What do you think about Militia Burglar and Standard Finding Angel of Invention? Could Call of Mirror Image, Walking Ballista, and other good cards? I think that's actually pretty good. And the problem is you're just drawing it, right? So a lot of times it's almost like the same as just drawing a card off the top of your deck. Like, it doesn't put him into play, right? Oh, are you going to double shock this guy? Wow. That does make our Macaw Bolts better at some point. Our hand is pretty stacked. We have three removal spells. They have three, five cards in hand, so. Oh, three mana for a dude in a card is definitely not bad. You are correct. The draws have not been in my favor. I mean, I don't have any pressure on you, so. You're doing okay for now, kid. Discard Doom Dissenter. You had to hit a land there, right? Yeah, that's still red, though. Eight lands. Five spells. This is pretty bad. What the hell is... Oh, for crying out loud. Are you serious? We just had a discussion about this stupid idiot. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can't do both, but I guess it doesn't matter. Yep, that ain't happening. <laughs> I'll take a risk here. Should have played the land just in case you want a strangling spores, whatever they play here. It's probably going to be a 4 4, though. <sighs> it's such a, It would have been much better value, actually, if we just played the land. I didn't play the land because I wanted to hold it from a Cobwalt's, but the problem is. Or five. I guess we can take a hit from this guy. The, if they play Doom to Center, I really don't want to give them a sacrifice outlet, though. And I do want to have open the graves down before they play anything else. Yeah, that was that might cost us something. I'm gonna hope you don't have another Doom to Center or another creature like a Dragon Egg would be bad. Because I'll just take three. Yeah, that's fine. deal yeah this is actually pretty good all right we can just kill everything don't really want you to have any pump spells even though you're just but I also don't want you to play like the plus two plus oh and Make a thing. If we can get one creature, I'll be fine because we can just play the dude, and if they deal with it, we can macabre bolts get two guys back. Which is really where you want to be. And I feel like once we get two dudes, it's actually four dudes, and then it's like, oh, come on. This 
This is sad because we have no way to take advantage of this. Actually, this is reasonable. If we gained one life this turn, we could have nightmares thirsted, but nay. Then Victor says Monty deck. I'm thinking Trial of Ambitions, Chupacabra's Noxious Gear Hulk. Yeah, hey, Josh, it's your it's your uh, your creation. So you do you do uh you do it up, and I will give you my opinion on it. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, oh, it, oh, it has menace. I see. Uh, I don't want to give you my my input on it because then it's like then I'm kind of like creating the deck and then critiquing a deck I created. So that doesn't really. But yeah, that sounds. All of that sounds super sweet. So do that. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna be a problem. If we can get that horse, that would be fantastic. I just want that horse. All right, well, now we got Vivictus as Mahdi mana. One, two, three, four. Tag us for nine. <laughs> just mono uncommon creatures in your deck. Cool. Are we at a point where we probably could have gotten this guy back turns ago and just attacked with it and killed them? This guy doesn't have menace though, which is nice. You just make this guy unable to block. You can't make both unable to block unless you have another land. Which is a little scary. Alright, well we're just going to get this guy back now. Oh, to have an extra creature in the graveyard. We haven't drawn more than two creatures this game, though, guys, so it makes sense that we don't have any more creatures in the graveyard. 17 cards, draw two creatures. Seems good. What problem is? This might be our first one, too. Which was called from the beginning of the draft, and they did just hit an extra land. An extra... An extra Correct. That's what I that's what I meant. Land. We have outs. We have the Sun Mare. Yep, nobody can block. Sounds good. You can accidentally sack your guy, that'd be great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sixteen lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. We've drawn eleven out of sixteen lands. Unbelievable. So if we draw blood divination, we can easily sack this, get a zombie. We go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can play Lich's Caress, kill this, play a land, and take care of both these guys. If we were like literally if we just drew this card instead of this card, we win the we we basically win the game. It's kind of ridiculous. Nope, don't want the white card when I have literally no planes. Thanks, though. 
appreciate it. Cool. I mean, 20 turns and they're dead, so that's cool. They also got stuck on land for 16 turns and we have no way to exploit that, so that's unfortunate. I mean, I do feel like we misplayed. We probably should have gotten the 5-5 five, five back, the 4-4 four, four back sooner. But, yep, yeah, here we go. <laughs> that's unbelievable, dude. These games have been a, just an utter blast. 12 out of 16 lands into can't draw third land. And the only reason they haven't played anything is because their hand is mono, four drop, uncommon, unbeatable cards. So, you know what? Sure. <laughs> sure. You got it. Well, I'm not going to block here. Probably worth killing that dude just because they have a... Uh, I mean, we have multiple guys to block the 2-2 two -two, and I don't really want them to have the... Oh, we don't actually get to kill it. I got I got over-enthusiastic there thinking that, like, oh, we have a way to deal with it, but uh, we didn't actually hit a land, so we don't actually get to play any four drops. Only our opponent does. So we'll just watch them play Magic, and we'll just see if it's fun. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Seems fun. Oh, that's awesome. A three mana land. <laughs> Good times. I like how you're a sub, Mathiori, and you actually have a salt emoticon that I made, and you literally say hashtag salt and then two non subscriber emoticons of salt. Fantastic. Good times, good times. Anyway, I mean, I don't ask for a lot. I just really want to play games of Magic. Like, I want to play Magic the Gathering. I don't know. Oh, just this guy. Yeah, I'll go to 12. Is your hand not that great? I don't understand. You have six lands. You have to have something bonkers. Like, you didn't play anything good last turn, right? What's, going, what's even going on right now? Turn on emote chat only. I like it. I like it. Oh, sickness! The double manolith, boys! I got manoliths for days, son. Oh my god, who made it emote only? You guys are ridiculous. May the draws be ever in your favor. Um... I'm not going to block still, because if we draw, open the vaults, open the graveyard, open the cemetery, whatever it is, like, we're in, we get to do cool stuff. God, they're not doing anything, which is great for us. I'm going to, yeah, I was going to say I'm going to add a black to do this, but you don't actually have to do that. I forgot. So... What to, to do, what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could actually kill one of our manoliths. Let's just caress might just be worth it to get this guy out of the way. It gives us some breathing room. And they don't they can't have that many good guys, but if they have macabre bolts, they could just be waiting. I mean, if they have macabre bolts and they're getting these guys back, it's totally fine. Yeah, 15 to 13, whatever. What could possibly go wrong? A 
Are they just drawing like? Do they just have mono lands in hand? Yeah, they figured they had the cobalts there. Okay. So what do they get back? Three two and dissenter. Neither of those are super impressive, so I'm okay with that. If that's your plays, that's okay's. Maybe we are in this game more than I thought we'd be. Why does Meteor Golem not hit a land? Like, it's seven mana. I feel like when you're at seven mana, you can probably, you can just destroy anything you want. And it should be fine, right? I do like Meteor Golem killing this zombie, though. And then we can actually sack something to blood. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I would usually be more reluctant to play this, but we do have Macabre Waltz, and I'm pretty okay with that. This also means if we attack with Archer, uh, we can... Yeah, this is fine. If they want to just trade here, that's... If they want to play their 3-2 and block, that's also fine. I mean, I just mentioned it. I didn't think I was hell-bent on it. I was just curious because usually you don't you put the don't destroy a land clause on things when they when they're cheap right like abrupt decay you don't want two mana land destruction because that would be broken maelstrom pulse you don't want three mana land destruction because that would be broken uh, anguish on making you don't want three mana land destruction because that's very strong like all these cards are very strong in the context of land destruction so that's the reason you put the disclaimer on it however when you have a seven mana card it just shouldn't be a consideration really I think we're just I think we just turned the corner here, as they say in the in the biz. Yep. Correct. Three mana like land destruction like Stone Rain, which is no longer printed. That is correct. <laughs> you're referencing cards that are no longer printed when we have cards like four unless you're unless you're not making a defense of those cards in which case i get that and we're on the same page but right now it's just like well sure but those cards don't like they don't make three mana land destruction anymore because it's very powerful and impressive and it's not fun to play against I don't know how this game is still going. I'm actually surprised. I thought we were way out of it. And uh, I was getting a little irritated because we just weren't getting to play the game. Yep, yeah, that's obnoxious after we put Evoke the Vine in the very yard. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Wait. Oh, this is awkward because, like, when I get this back, does the sword stay on? How does that work? Um, yeah, I'll just block here. Don't care about that. So, what ha Five, six, seven, eight, nine... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually put this on the dude. Whenever a quick creature attacks, create a two two white knight. How does it how does that work? If they get the knight, is it attacking? <laughs> how does that work? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to put the Valor on this guy, actually. And this should be pretty strong. The problem is we I don't want to give them a guy because they don't have a creature to attack with right now. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we do put them to three if they don't block. But then they have a guy to put the sword on and attack with. 
but we have a lot of blockers. Whatever. But then they just block this guy anyway, right? So it's basically the same. Yeah, we'll just put you to... We'll just attack with these guys. That's fine. How nice of you not attacking with it. Well, I mean, I don't want you to have a knight, so. And if they have no creature to put it on, like, we just kill them next turn. So, if they have a creature, they're going to put it on that guy, so. You don't give them a guy. It literally says, whenever a crypt creature attacks, create a 2-2 white knight. That is That is talking to the controller of the card. The controller of the card would get a 2-2 white knight creature with vigilance that's attacking. Equipped creature gets plus 2, plus 0 and has vigilance. But then the next part says, whenever equipped creature attacks, create a 2-2 knight. Oh, uh, this deck is really sweet just when these draws could cooperate a little bit. I agree. I think their deck is actually pretty sweet. I mean, my draws were terrible last game. My draws were terrible in the beginning of this game. So, I mean, I don't think these were actually great back and forth, like, interactive games of Magic, unfortunately. But... Pena. Interesting. So this is interesting. Let's do this. Let's see how this works. Yep, that's what we figured. Lose life, gain life. Vig this guy. And by Vig, I mean Nightmare's Thirst. I don't know why I call Vig Vigilance. Vigilance, your creature. So this should be death, but we'll see. I can't imagine you have enough. Even if you kill this guy, you still have to deal with these. So you have to kill two guys here. Good games. That is one. One down. Wow. And it doesn't have to, like, it's still going to make the knight. It's going to do as much as it can. It's going to make the knight and then not attack. It puts a knight into play attacking. But just because it can't be attacking, it doesn't have to, it doesn't, it doesn't check for that until the knight is in play, right? Like, it's not, there's no, there's no, like, there's not human beings in the magic and be like, hey, is it going to be attacking? I don't know. Let me look into the future and find out. Uh, it's on their turn, so it can't be attacking. Okay, let's forget the whole thing. They just try to do as much as they can, right? So it's like, let's put the knight into play. Can it attack? No. Okay, so the knight's in play, not attacking instead. So we figured that out. It was a little confusing, but I think that's a very corner case scenario where it's equipped to your creature and you're attacking with it and they get the guy. It's weird. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. So 2-1 uh, and 2-1. Correct? Those are two 2-1s? Two 2-2-1s? Two two 
Uh, so we, we, we did lose our streak of 3030, but still pretty good. Uh, one of the ten two ten two 10, 10, 10, 2, 10, 2 total record for M19 drafts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon or on Twitch. I'm producing new content on Patreon as well that you can't find on Twitch for a dollar a month. You can get stuff like that stuff from that and, uh, appreciate the support guys. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next time.